Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're going to be talking about the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine throughout the entire year of 2022. Now, the Ethereum merger took place during this year in 2022, so the whole chart got shaken up quite dramatically and mining profitability as far as video cards or GPU mining has diminished quite significantly. And in this series, we're taking six rtx 3060s and pitting against six rx 6600 xts so we're going to go into the data but first got to represent from my boys over here in duval who made it into the playoffs anyways let's get into the data so one 3060 right now is going to still put you at 10 cent per kilowatt hour at negative 14 15 16 cents per day just one gpu and then one rx 6600 xt it's going to be putting you negative 12, negative 5, negative 6 cents per day, depending on the coin or algorithm that you're mining. And of course, obviously electricity. Now, 10 cents per kilowatt is the average here in North America, but it is not the average in the, uh, the in Europe or other countries where they're paying exorbitant amounts of electricity. So unless you're using renewable resources like solar or you're not paying for electricity because you live in a dorm, uh, GP mining is not as profitable as it used to be, but people still do it eating the cost for electricity because they believe these projects are going to take off in the future. Moving on to the charts. The top 10 most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine throughout the entire year of 2022 on the NVIDIA side were Conflux, Ravencoin, Eternity, Firo, Flux, Cortex, Ciro, Ergo, and of course Ethereum is on there in the number 8 spot. But, since it's no longer mineable, it's going to be, you know, kind of taken off the list, right? So then Xano and Noxia, or Neoxia, whatever you want to say it. I'm sorry I keep saying it wrong. Moving on to AMD, the top 10 most profitable coins to mine throughout the entire year of 2022 was Ravencoin, Ryo, Cortex, Firo, Flux, Conceal, Ethereum Classic, and again, Ethereum is on here, but they're the they're, same thing. Got to remove them. Equilibra, Neoxa, and Caspa. Now, Caspa is making a strong push towards the end of 2022 on both NVIDIA and AMD, but didn't get on the chart for NVIDIA, only got on the chart for AMD. Looking at both charts, we could see Ravencoin really being a strong contender on a mixed rig of AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. We know that usually a mixed rig with both types of uh, manufacturers on there can cause issues with drivers, uh, compatibility, so on and so forth. But if you did have a mixed rig, Ravencoin seems to be that number one coin to mine. And then moving further down the chart, we got a couple other ones that appear on both, right? We got Flux that appear on both. And I believe uh, Cortex as well. And Cortex requires the GPU to have so much memory so you have to bear that in mind, uh, depending on the make and model of your GPU. Uh, let's see what else here was on both, because Ergo has fallen off quite significantly, especially for AMD brands. Uh, I would say Conceal would be one of them, but it doesn't show up on the NVIDIA side. It shows up mostly on the AMD side. And Firo. Firo would definitely be one. So Ravencoin, uh, Firo, Flux, Cortex and looks like neoxa as well would be the the best like my top five coins for operating a mixed rig if you did have one now does this mean that mining is dead again as i mentioned in many videos i don't believe mining is dead because there's different aspects of mining there's asic mining fpj mining gpu mining cpu mining and some cpu mining projects have become very profitable or were very profitable and many people like to participate in it they have walls of motherboards and cpus just hashing away making a profit fpgas are adaptable or reprogrammable asics newer asics keep getting uh made by various uh manufacturers like bitmain and what's minor so, and we'll, so we're going to see more efficiency better improvements and mining will continue to still be something that the crypto community turns to that participate in mining uh, but as far as gp mining it is diminished as far as profitability However, I do believe once the market starts to recover, we're going to start hearing more of the GPU topic come up um, later on in the future. When that will be, nobody knows. I don't have a crystal ball. Until then, 
I thank you so much for stopping by. That is the data for the entire year of 2022. We'll wrap up again in 20, at the end of 2023 or the beginning of 2024, wrapping up 2023's data. And do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So as follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description. Uh, feel free to check it out. It does help support the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and go Jags. Thank you.